People have been going out into space and see things that people have never seen before. But going into the depths of the ocean is just as exciting, if not more exciting. It's a whole new world. You get to chase around and look at different things that just put you in awe. And I'm one of the few people who get to do this on a daily basis. People have somewhat maybe become complacent about the ocean. It's big body of water, yeah, it's out there. Okay, you know, but they don't understand it. People could learn so much from what's out there. Knowledge of our oceans is more than a mere curiosity. Our very survival may depend upon it. No, the ocean plays a very large part with climatic change. The most recent illustrations of that is a phenomenon called El Nino. We don't know a lot about the ocean. Seventy percent of the planet's covered by water. The deepest part of the ocean, we think, is 35,762 feet. And the key to that statement is, we think. That is just about seven miles straight down. It's really hard to grasp how deep and vast the ocean is. For example, if you were to take the tallest mountain in the world, Mount Everest, and place it in the deepest point of the ocean, the peak of Mount Everest would still be covered by thousands and thousands of feet of water. The goal is to have a better understanding of the oceans and our environment. This is Monterey Bay, California, and it's my office. My name is uh, Jim McFarlane. I'm the chief ROV pilot for Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute. My job is to operate this undersea vehicle and carry out scientific missions. This vehicle behind me is uh, an ROV, a remotely operated vehicle. And we call this one Ventena, which is windows in Spanish. They are capable of going to depths that far exceed what man can go. If you were to try and put a diver down to a thousand meters, he would not survive. Your body was not designed to have uh, numerous atmospheric pressures applied on your body. How that works is when you're standing on the beach, you are at sea level. And at sea level, the atmospheric pressure is 14.7 pounds per square inch. So for every square inch on your body, you are feeling 14.7 pounds of pressure. As you go down 10 meters, you gain one atmosphere of pressure, or another 14.7 pounds of pressure per square inch. If you were down 100 meters, you would have another 147 pounds per square inch on your body. By the time you get to 500 meters, it becomes a lot of pressure being applied on your body, and your body just doesn't work well like that. So you would really be crushed. Instead of putting a diver at risk, we started using machines and robotics to take that risk. 